I think that it's unreasonable because lo lots of us have recreational vehicles. Hundreds of Rancho Cordova homeowners may soon face fines for what they keep in their driveways. It's all over recent changes in the city's zoning code. Tonight we're getting answers on why city leaders are now thinking about repealing a new law that they just passed seven months ago. We go down to the coast, we go up to Lake Tahoe. Jennifer McClure bought her motorhome thinking she could keep it parked in her driveway. We actually did measure the driveway <laughs> to make sure that we got one that would fit in our driveway. But last May, Rancho Cordova city leaders passed a new zoning ordinance that bans homeowners from having boats, RVs, and trailers that can be seen from the street. Code enforcement officers now estimate there are more than 800 homes currently violating the new law. It's not a reasonable law, and it's there's too many of us that have them. So how much could the fines cost? $100 for the first time they were in violation and didn't comply within the time given. 200 if there's an, another period of time that wasn't, and then 500. As a result, homeowners could be forced to put their boats, trailers, and RVs behind a fence or pay for storage, which could cost thousands of dollars every year. And a city survey shows most local storage facilities are at or near capacity. Council members are now being asked to reconsider the new rules. We are not actually doing any enforcement until we clarify that council's intention. Jennifer likes that the city is trying to fight blight and make sure neighborhoods look nice, but she thinks well kept motorhomes like hers shouldn't be banned. If it's a vehicle that's obviously being maintained and taken care of, then I don't think that it should be a problem. So tonight, council members said they wanted more details on how the law could be modified. One option under consideration is grandfathering in vehicles that were purchased prior to the new law taking effect, allowing them to park without being fined.